So this is what our research told us from the first center. If we can just go to the first image, the, the purple image from BMJ Open is with the National Firefighter Near Miss Reporting System. And so in that system, on EMS runs reported to that system, assaults were the number one cause of injury. And the, the reason that of patients' aggressions were drugs and alcohol intoxication, mental illness, underlying medical conditions like being hypoglycemic or overdosing on opioids, and then when you administer the Narcan, they become violent. So that's what we learned in that first study on the left. In the middle study with the Philadelphia Fire Department, we studied lost time claims for assaults to firefighters and EMS responders. And what we learned in Philadelphia was that paramedics had a 14-fold higher odds of an assault-related injury compared to their firefighter colleagues who also show up on first response. So there's something very important about the intimacy of the work, especially in a confined space in the back of the ambulance where our paramedics are really holding the burden of this problem. And then the last image is a, a report that uh, the first center was sub subcontracted by the United States Fire Administration and the IAFF in 2017 to do a literature review. And what we did, the unique aspect is we didn't just look at what the geeks said, right, the scientists, we looked at what you had been saying in the industry. And for 40 years, you have been talking about the problem of violence against your persons. You got to it a decade before science scientists even saw it as a problem. And so in this report, you can read all of the literature from the geeks and from the industry about what's going on and how people cope with it and what they do when they have a violent patient or bystander.